catchy new intro. Uh, welcome back. It is now the fifth episode. And uh, you can see I changed my title a little bit. Um, I did a little digging in the middle of the night. Because, you know, I like to dig. Do you dig it? Wow, that was cheesy. Um, so, yeah. Did a little digging. Uh, I altered my fence structure a little too. Well, since for some reason the mobs don't seem to get real close to my house, which is okay with me. Uh, I mean, I see them in the distance, but they never seem to get like right up on me. So, and I can't reach it. I didn't think that through very well. Uh, I should use a solid wall. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So oddly enough, um, this time around. I don't have anything to say about Skyrim. I haven't actually been playing it lately. Um, since the start of the new year, practically, pretty much since my last video, I've um, actually been playing Minecraft. Uh, almost non-fucking-stop. Uh, my friend finally got around to setting up a server, uh, something like a gift to me, the way he put it, which is awesome, because I love Minecraft. And... Uh, Eventually, I'm going to get my own creative world to just build on, which will be interesting. Because, like, I've never really used creative mode much. Like, when I first found out about Minecraft, I played the initial creative, which was, like, this is, like, early, early alpha days. Back, you know, when the game was just out of in-dev mode. Or in-def, whatever. You know, it was the mode right before, um, it was right after... The mode. Oh wait, here, check this out. Uh, huh, I forgot all about that. Um, I need to expand my stuff here real quick. Uh, let's see. And, and step. I should not like jump out of my sin. There we go. I uh, made a new skin. I don't know what the fuck I'm wearing. It looks awful. <laughs> but it's me. It's unique. Da -da -da. Um, anyways, so it was. this was when I got Minecraft. Um, I saw a stupid video on the internet of some dude like trying to build a fireplace and he burned his house down. Because he didn't understand that fire spread apparently. Um... Although I, I think the video was like totally fake because his ability to respond to the fire was like bullshit. It's like so no one gets to the fireplace making point without understanding how to put fires out too. So needless to say, it was it was stupid. And but it got me interested. I was like, this would be a cool design point to create your own RPG. And currently, I mean, there's a lot of people that have made you know, quote-unquote adventure maps in the game, where you have, like, you know, NPCs, or not really NPCs, but you go into a building and there'll be, like, a line, of, a wall of text for you to read that leads you to point A to point B. And I'll admit, as a base world design tool, Minecraft is awesome, but it's not much of a RPG design tool. Like, there's without it has no event processing... The AI is laughable. It would never function that way. Um, even with like the mediocre leveling abilities it has, it's just in it now. It's just, it's not that kind of game. I mean, it's just a mechanism to provide more content, not to provide, you know, a story experience. Uh, someone may get an awesome story-based mod into Minecraft someday. Maybe once the um, the actual modding API comes out. It might happen, but uh, until then, it's just, you know, it's an adventure game. Run around, build shit, it's the way it is. But having my own creative world will be interesting, because, like, um, I know I mentioned it to him, but I don't know if he's installed it yet, but I want to get, there's this program called Voxel Sniper, and or Voxel Snipe, and it's this amazing tool set for world manipulation. And I don't know how well it'll run on the server system we're doing, because quite honestly, I don't know what it is, but it's just like not exactly a top-of-the-line 
company that's running our host servers. Like, they just don't have the proper RAM or something. Because, like, your view distance is limited. There's all sorts of weird glitches. That, uh, some of them I've researched and found out are uh, just game-specific in general uh, that have come out since the new retail client release. But, you know, and there's nothing you can do about those kind of... Uh, ooh, let's make a piggy. Piggy! And... Bay piggy. So, yeah, I've been playing an extensive amount of Minecraft. And I'm looking forward to playing more. Hopefully, you know, the people I play with now on the server will have more time, hopefully sometime in the future, if they get into the game a little bit more than they are now. Uh, one buddy's been uh, ill, and the other one's just... He's the most workaholic person that has ever existed. Like, someone screams work, and his hand just shoots in the air like, Yes, sir! I can do it! <laughs> and I don't know if it's intentional or what, but he just cannot turn down work. Like, not that people are, like, begging him for work, but he's just, like... He sees something he can do, and he goes and does it. He's just, like, this most overachieving... I've got to spend every waking minute of my day doing something, so I have no free time. <laughs> and so, he doesn't get a lot of play in because of it he wants to but you know wanting and then he also wants to work a lot so I don't know if he even wants to work a lot I think it's just like a subconscious impulse and so and then the other guy uh, that I he works a lot period like his hours are odd and and uh, he's got a lot of uh, party and lifestyle so he doesn't he doesn't exactly he's exploring his youth still and and I understand that. I wish I had explored mine more when I had the chance. Because, like, here I am, almost 30, and I'm like, oh my god, my youth is gone. And uh, this guy's out living it up. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah. So, needless to say, out of the four of us, we're the only four on the server currently. Uh, more will be joining eventually. Uh, it's a small server. We'll never have more than 10 people, max. Uh, but it's just, you know, a little community of people that know each other in real life or associate with each other in real life. And, you know, we hang out and, well, eventually we hang out. Uh, we set up a system where we're all at a distance from each other, so we got to sort of hunt each other down and give clues and how to find based on architecture and landscape, and which is really hard in Minecraft, like crazy hard. Because there's no discerning features. You can't use, like lunar rotation or the sun's position or stars or you know there is no snowy in the north it, everything's so random in minecraft so it's just it's hard uh, i found one of the four so far and that was just like severe dumb luck <laughs> i mean it was it was you know useful dumb luck but it was severe dumb luck and uh yeah i'd like to find the others um i've tried to set up a uh a, a a notification like I went to the center of the world and I put a sign that says go this way to find me <laughs> you know basically and if they follow that sign then the next sign that they reach to eventually they'll reach me which is you know I don't know it's it's we didn't want to like just immediately call out where we were because anybody can you know press F3 get your coordinates and find out oh you're at such and such and you know that just kind of runs the fun but this way you still have to explore um you know, there's the potential danger of monsters or what other, other nasties you may run into. And uh, this, so it's it's a little more adventurous. I don't know if it makes it too easy. I guess it does and it doesn't. Just for the fact that you have to travel to get from point A to point B. I mean, we're literally like a day and a half or two days worth of like on foot Minecraft travel journey. Which, you know, for some reason servers aren't like uh, servers. Um monsters aren't super plentiful on our server and which isn't necessarily a bad thing because like monsters like everywhere gets old really fast it just gets annoying um i don't know i've, I've always played on peaceful most of the time i mean i can play survival i just like you know this is survival but for the most part until you go cave diving survival isn't really hard you know, 
Because, you know, day and night you can always just waste away in your home or use a bed and skip the evening. And so until you go spelunking down in the depths, there's not really anything to worry about. So it's not an issue at the moment. But uh, surviving does become quite a challenge eventually uh, as far as ex exploring deeper into the depths of things. So that can be troublesome. Other than that, not so much. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you can't tell, I, my voice may be a little off. I've uh, come down with some sort of illness these last couple days. And I wasn't originally intending to even record one of these videos. Uh, not right now, anyways. Uh, because not just being ill, but just I was busy with other stuff. And I suddenly found myself with like a couple hours of free time. I'm like, hey, I should make a Minecraft video. So I literally recorded this a, like just a second ago. How the hell do you get out of the fence? See, apparently that's a common glitchy error. Like, animals just escape somehow. I don't know. I really, really wish they would fix that. Because animals are supposed to be static now. So if the mobs are static, I need you to not escape when I'm trying to breed you. That's not cool. Because you're just wasting my resources, you little pink bastard. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I went off on a tangent. So, anyways, yeah, I've been playing a lot on a server this past couple weeks, or week, or... Since the second. Today's like the 8th, or ninth or whatever. I don't keep track. And, um... Yeah. It's been it's been a blast. Uh I just wish I could run into the other players. <laughs> and like it's like yay, I play with other people, but now I never see them. <laughs> so it kinda detracts a little from the fun, I guess you could say. But looks like nighttime's coming, so I'm gonna get these two chickens back in the pen, and then I am going to call it a day. So I can get this thing processed and uploaded before, you know, forever a day passes. So, let's make an itty bitty chicken and we'll call it a night. Alright. <laughs> yeah, sniffles. I hate being ill. Peace out. Goodbye. Etc.